Hello everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain your show making made easy to talk. And today we're going to be learning how to create this code. I actually bought this code as an already made code. And then um, I found out that I would love to actually use more because I couldn't get it in the market again. So I decided to create mine. And I'm sure you want to see how I actually did that. If you're watching my channel for the first time, ensure you subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell so that each time I upload a video, you will be notified. Now, sit back and I'm gonna be right back. So, this is going to be a very quick one. Now, what we need basically, if you're going to be creating that kind of a code, I told us it's an already made code, and um, I want to try because I couldn't get that again. I'm trying to create mine. So, I got this particular white, white leather, and also I got this particular shining, beautiful silver leather also. So, this is quite soft, although a bit softer than this. This is also very soft. So I'm going to be using it. Now you have to work with whatever length you would like to work with. Then the width that I am going to be using is two centimeter. Why the width of the one I'm going to be putting inside is going to be a 0 0.9 centimeter. I want to be able to fold it properly on top of it. Now, the amazing thing is that I need something to create all those opening that will be reflecting this beautiful silver leather to create my cord. So just go ahead and get a punch. You can get a three millimeter punch. Now I'm going to be using this. This is about three millimeter or 3.5 millimeter. Sorry. Yes, I got this from one of the so many, you know, cutter that I bought is actually a pack. So I had a lot of them right inside it. So this is one of them. Now, if you don't have that, you can actually buy this kind of a punch. It's actually... A punch this is actually 2.5 this is three this is three wow this is actually three so and you can start to use this you can buy four millimeter you can buy four because this is quite wider this is wider than this so you can decide to use either let me use this so that we can see it although i wanted to use this because i find that it's a bit wider this is wider than this one so i can decide to actually use one then use this one to be the next one what about that so i think that would be fine for that so let's go ahead and then um, first of all locate the midpoint of this our width with this trap which is actually two centimeters definitely the midpoint is going to be one centimeter so i will locate the midpoint that's what the first thing I'm going to adjust this back so that it can perfectly fit what I want. So, so with this midpoint, I will be able to consecutively punch on a straight line without having any form of error. So, let's go ahead and use 1.5 as our interval so from this side to this side this is 1.5 we go to 3 4.5 6 7.5 we have 9 10.5 we have 12 we have 13.5 then we have to 15 so that is what we have there so what am i doing now i'm going to be starting with either of them in our punches so i'm starting with this Now you can see what I created. I'm going to move to this. So with this, we have created different openings. Now, if you look at what I did, you'll find out that we are supposed to make sure that all of them centralize. you find out that some have extended to this side, some have extended to this side. So please, when you're punching yours, please make sure you pay attention to that. I actually did this to quickly show us what I did in the absence of what as in not finding the cord that I need. So I'm going to use my contact cement adhesive on it right away. I'm going to pick up my silver leather and place on it. immediately i don't want to apply contact cement adhesive on it so immediately i apply it on this one i'm going to position it right here so 
so it will definitely stay without soiling the main you know silver leather we are still creating our cord don't forget you can see what is already looking like here at least you have something <laughs> like what you want So we are going to go ahead now. I've already applied the contact cement and there's a right also here. So let's just go ahead and um, So now you can see what I have right here. So please ensure that when you are creating yours, you centralize it. That will help you to be able to achieve, you know, that opening being at the center. You can see the one I actually did. It was actually at the center. And also the distance. I want us to work on the distance. Let it be about one one centimeter so that it can be closer. These ones are the ones I made myself. Then let me quickly add the main already made that i bought of course it's not same exactly the same thing but it's quite close very very close to it don't forget to like this video please if you're watching for the first time please subscribe to my channel all i do is make shoe making easy you can see that of course there's a clear difference but then it can still do what i want it to do i'm gonna see you next time bye